Hello, hi everybody. It has been a minute since I have been on Periscope. So I am Coach Mo, and I'm joining the Perry 10K Shareathon. And just uh, right before me, the Process Pixie was on. Carrie at the Process Pixie. So let me share myself out here. And if you don't know what the Perry 10K is, I'm sure you see their Shareathons throughout Periscope. And it's a great collaborative uh, mastermind group. Um, they really support each other in live streaming and business. And if you were thinking about joining the Perry 10K, it's actually closed right now, but you can still get on the wait list at perry10k.com slash join. And then you can always check out the, at the at, hey, Carrie, it was so great to see you and to meet you on there. Hey, Caroline, how are you? So at Perry 10K and perry10k.com slash join to get on the wait list to check it out. It's a really great um, group. I have my iPad on here as well, and I'm trying to share that out. But today's theme for the Perry 10K, there's so many new things with the app and trying to share stuff out is, um, yeah, I think it's really interesting that you lived in Detroit and then you moved to um, Belgium. I would love to hear more about that story on how you moved to Belgium. I think that's fantastic. So, all right, let's see. Am I, re am I sharing this out? No, I'm... Oh my goodness gracious. Technical difficulties. Always have technical difficulties. So normally I scope about health and wellness things. Um, all things wellness. You know, just um, everything. Everything wellness. So, yeah, that would be cool. I would love to hear that. So we're sharing about how to build relationships um, in business. And a lot of what I like to do is live streaming. Like this kind of stuff. And I have met people from all over the world and another one here from Belgium just now got notification after I was already in it's, it's something's up with it today it's really slow and glitchy so we'll see if this even you know makes it out into the world but <laughs> thank you all so much for being here I love when you guys are on here live if you're here on the replay I love when you're on the replay and you watch the whole thing and you heart that up and you just have a ball on there and then you guys tweet me out and you leave comments and, and, and it's all good and that's part of building relationships you want, I want to get to know you and one of the things, one of the things I learned a really, really long time ago was, you know, when you're, you're, say you're on Periscope, say you're at a party and you notice that there's certain people not there. And then you start complaining. Well, I can't believe they didn't come. Why didn't they come to church? Why, why aren't they on my scope? Where's everybody at? And then you just, you just sit there and you're like not even enjoying anything. You're not even talking on Periscope. You're just waiting for people to come in that might not ever come in. For people to show up at a place that might not ever show up. Stuff happens in people's lives, you know? So somebody told me this once. And this had to be like 15 years ago at least. They said, don't complain about who isn't showing up. Celebrate those that do. So yeah, people are busy. And that has always stuck with me. And there's times where in business or just in, you know, normal life, uh, I know I love that. And, and still every day, it's celebrate those who show up and pay attention. Like, are you, don't chase people down. Don't beg people to get your product. You want people who need your product because you're fulfilling, you know, a service to help somebody out. So don't chase people around. But do you notice that there's people maybe messaging you on Facebook or sending you a text message? Hey, Alexandria, I'm great. How are you doing? Thank you guys so much for sharing this out. I appreciate it. You can swipe and share, swipe up now and share to Twitter and with your friends. Um, and then you, you sometimes you get irritated because, oh, it's the same person messaging me all the time. You know what? They're showing up. You're complaining because so-and-so ain't calling you. And you're complaining because this person's not here. But you have people right in front of your face. They're not celebrating. Switzerland, fantastic. I'm in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Hey, Matthew, what is up? How are you doing? So I just wanted to share that little tip. And another thing that you can do is be genuinely interested in a person. Those are my super fans. I have a ton of super fans. All my fans are super fans. We're talking about building relationships um, in business, and you can you can message people. You can have a great product. You can ask people to check it out, 
but genuinely be interested in the person. Another thing that I remember, and this was probably 25 years ago, and probably even more than that. It can be business, it can be in life. Um, and to build a relationship with somebody, don't just call them with all the negative stuff all the time. And I had a friend tell me that. And I was I was going through a divorce, I was a single mom with two kids, I was living in, on my own in an apartment. And I had this one friend that I knew I could call. And I called to tell her something. She goes, do you know that you always call me for the negative stuff? Hey, Carrie, what's up? Smartest lady east of the <laughs> Thank you, Matthew. And I was crushed that she had said that. And then I thought about it. And I thought, I am. I'm just telling her all the bad stuff that's going on. Bobby D, what is going on? I'm just telling her about all the bad stuff that's going on in my life. So those two things, remembering to genuinely be interested in the other person. Like I, you, you, you can call me, you can text me, you can tell me things are going on in your life, but also call and, and ask me how I'm doing, you know? Okay, because I'm in love with my best friend. Oh, all right, all right. Hey, Bobby D, nice to see you. Sorry about your puppy dog. I've been thinking about you. Um... So if you, if there's something on Facebook that you're thinking about, send them a message. You're lucky she said something to you at home. It, it did, Carrie, it did. And I was, that, that really was like 25 years ago. Um, in the same aspect, she, she didn't really call me to see how I, I was ever doing, but it, it was like, it was a weird relationship, but it was something I needed to hear, you know? And... No one wants to be the negative Nancy, but watch yourselves. Like I, you can get caught up in that. Year, years ago, I, you know, you work in a place and it's, it's all negative. Um, I, uh, waitressing for years, it's all, it's all negative and gossip and stuff. And when you re, when you remove yourself from that and then you start to, to go back into it, you catch yourself and you're like, that's wow. You can't build relationships like that. You can't have real friendships with just, if all you're doing is gossiping all the time. So really reach out to people and ask them how they're doing. How, how do they feel? What's going on in their life? You know, if you haven't talked to somebody in a long time, just pop them a Facebook message and go, hey, what's going on? I have people in my life that only like to hear from me when something has gone wrong. Yeah, isn't that sad? Well, thank you, Alexandra. I, I know I'm saying that wrong. Dr na 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 Call you Alex. Um, make sure you're following me here. Oh, uh, the other thing is you want that no like and trust factor. And how are they going to get to know you if you don't start a conversation with them? And how are they going to get to trust you? That takes time. That could take weeks. It could take months. It could take years. And to like you, I think the, I can call you Alex. Thank you. <laughs> Alexandra. Alexandra. I love that. If you... I think you know right away if you like somebody. If somebody sends me a message on Facebook and it's like, hey, I have this great product and you need to go check out my website and blah, blah, and I have never met you before. If you friend me just to do that, one, I'm not going to like you. I already don't trust you. And I don't even know you. So those three things are really important and you want to work on that. And sometimes you might have a conversation with somebody back and forth for a year and then they might finally say, hey, what do you do? If you have a relationship with, the, with people that you have, you're have you really close to, then send them a message and say, hey, will you check out this product for me? Will, check, will you check out what I'm doing now? I'm, I'm doing something new now. You have people that support you. You have people that won't support you. Usually those are the ones really close to you. Don't support you. You have to earn the trust. You have to earn it. And how can they trust you if you don't care about them? You have to care about them. And then, like Carrie said, Carrie was on right before me at Pixie... The Process Pixie, um, Process Pixie, I think she's in here, she talked about how you need to talk with your audience. If you guys are ever in my scopes, you know I'm talking to my audience. I'm always talking to my audience. Sometimes my whole scope is just talking to you guys and somebody makes a comment and that's my whole scope. And that's like an hour long. You know? Yeah. So, be genuine. And be yourself. Don't be fake. Don't try to be like somebody else. There's nobody like you. And there's nothing normal. Okay? There's nothing. There's no normal. If you think about it. My normal is not your. Hey, Alexis. What is going on? Thank you for being here. Um, you're doing something new? Message me and let me know what it is, Bobby. 
or, or put it in here. To so just be yourself. I, you, I can't be you. You can't be me. And that's okay. And that's the way that it should be. If we were all the same, how boring would this be? How boring would this life be if we're all exactly the same? I don't know if I can handle that. I don't know. So that is... Sometimes I'm shy. You know what, Matthew? I get like that too. Like sometimes I get scared to hit that button still. Haha, ha, I just came out to one of my best friends. So yeah, I feel a bit more like myself. When you can feel like yourself, you, you know, you start to build your confidence up and you start to feel happier. That's all. That's all I'm saying. So I'm Coach Mo, and this was part of the Perry 10K share -thon. Thank you for tapping those hearts and sharing out. I always appreciate that. Thank you, Alexis. And if you want to check out the Perry 10K, go to perry10k.com slash join. There is a waiting list right now for that. And you can do the um, at Perry 10K to check out all the other scopes today. I want to go check out some of them. Carrie, thank you for doing this share -thon with me. It was a little baby one, but I think it was really, really good. Appreciate everybody that was here. And I'm going to go now. Um, if you are in the live streamer entrepreneur group on my Facebook page, I shared it. That, um, we're doing good, Bobby. Thank you. You like that? It's called Love Bites. Love Bites Lipstick. Um, I'm doing a training at 7.30 tonight on why it's important to eat healthy in your business. So that'll be at 7.30. Facebook Live in the, in the, uh, live stream entrepreneur group. So, all right. You know, on my Facebook page, you can find it. If you're friends with me on my Facebook page. All right. You're Boston, Massachusetts, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Thank you for being here. All right, I'm going to go, and how I always like to end these out is don't forget to shine. It's night. It's almost night here. Bye.